Welcome back. Now, teach the boys of today for the men that they're going to become tomorrow. It's what Program Inc. is trying to make a point in doing by teaching young boys here in Toledo how to be gentlemen really early on. Now, this afternoon, I have Tremaine Rayford, who's the CEO and founder of the Program Inc., as well as Nakai Hayes. You've been part of the organization. Gentlemen, welcome. Thanks so much for joining me. Thanks Thank for having you. us. Now, Tremaine, uh, for folks who don't know, and I don't want to be mean and say you've been living under a rock, but <laughs> I've heard a lot about Program Inc. on Facebook, social media, Instagram. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, so the program is a nonprofit organization for young men growing in father absent homes, uh, teaching them valuable uh, life skills and social skills to deal effectively with the demands of everyday life. So we host events such as the tie event, uh, the first date event, the garage event, teaching young men how to change tires and things like that. I don't know how to change tires. Hey guys, so apparently you're changing tires now? <laughs> I will. I will. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the program for you because sometimes we have to convince folks your age to really join or want to do something like that because honestly I don't know maybe you'd rather be on your cell phone versus doing something like this right so at first of course you think it's a one of your average like groups or community like little fundraisers blah blah, blah. but like deeper when you get into it it's actually just a family and I will say this every interview it is a brotherhood and of course there are lovely women like Kelsey and Savannah that have changed my life too and Tell about it. I, I don't want to cry. cry. <laughs> I don't want to cry, but man, bro. Okay, wait. Mick, man, he's he showed me just manly love and Tremaine and Tyre, and they just give me inspiration and like really just teach me how to be a man. Obviously, it, it makes you feel beyond good. And yeah. how does it feel hearing that from him? Uh, it feels wonderful that you know, we are investing in these young men and, and, and they're receptive to what we're doing. Mm -hmm. And the changes is obviously um, bringing emotion and things like that. So it's, we're doing something good in the community because our heart posture is right. We're doing it with yeah. our heart. Um, what have been some of the favorite programs? You had a favorite program, you got a favorite program? Tell me about it. I would say the tie event. Okay, it's tell the me about first, it. Yeah, sorry. It's the first event I've ever been to. And when you first just get into something, it's just, a whole bunch of different emotions for the first time. And then that's where I met Kyer and basically my family. Do you know how to tie tie? No. <laughs> <laughs> Jermaine, um, what's going on here? Uh, <laughs> practice makes perfect. Right. <laughs> so practicing tying the tie, uh, he will eventually get it. But my favorite event mm -hmm. is the first date event. This is where young men, <laughs> we teach them how to court, teach them how to ask questions at a date, and they go on a date with their mom. So we're, we're uh, lucky to have Benchmark host us uh, this year. Uh, and I think that's just one thing that these young men, as growing up, that's a, that's a pivotal part that I think every man needs to know is how to court and how to date a woman. And I know there was also some talk of table etiquette and manners. So yes. uh, tell me what you learned in terms of place <laughs> setting, whatnot. You're being quizzed. Go to guy. All right. So of course, you just got to, you know, your date, mm -hmm. pull the chair, okay. have her sit. Yes. Push in the chair. Very good. Sit down. You got your fork, you got your knife, maybe your spoon too. Uh -huh. And then your napkin can be right here, which it looks like just weird. So I would put it on your lap. Okay. And then, um, you know, you order, la la, your manners, thank you, please. And then what else? You got, when you're done with your food, you got to put it in an X, kind of, okay. like that. Make sure it's not all the way like on it, uh -huh. you know, just like kind of off it. And then that just shows, like, n politely and nicely that you're done with the food. <laughs> now you know. I love it. Um, so, again, like, just being able to listen to this, it, it, what other events are going to happen? Because clearly he's learning. He can't be the only one. What else are you teaching these young men? Well, we have an array of different events. One of, another one of my favorite events is Dodgeball and Economics, where we teach young men about budgeting and saving money and, and, and financial literacy through dodgeball games. Um, we have the garage event, teaching boys how to change tires. There's an array of, of different events. We have uh, mom prom coming up, and that's like a celebration uh, for, because we all heard of the father-daughter dance, right? Yes. But we don't quite often hear about young boys and moms going to the prom. True. So we created an event called Mom Prom, and this would be our first annual event we had in our role last year and this is our first annual so yeah 
How exciting. I don't have any sons. Nikki, can I borrow you? Ask your mom. I don't want to go to mom prom. Yeah, you can borrow me. <laughs> mom, sorry. You're going to have to find a new date. Um, is there anything else you want to make sure? Because as uh, folks are listening here on TV and maybe hoping, well, I kind of want to help out slash invite myself to mom prom. Uh, what other things could they do as community members? Uh, you can always volunteer. Uh, you can get on our website to a lot of application to volunteer. Mm -hmm. You can email us, you can donate. Uh, there's plenty of ways you can support adding us on your social media page, sharing our content, liking our content, commenting on our content. All those things work. And Nika, is there anything you definitely want to stress in terms of, because if, if kids who are watching the news because they want to be more knowledgeable, they see you on TV, they hear you talking about programming, what's one lasting impression you want to make sure you leave with them? Don't be scared of success. Mm -hmm. All right. Don't be scared of this. Well, Tremaine, not, not top it. Go. Don't be. Uh, <laughs> okay. I can talk, I, I, what is more important, what you acquire or who you become? Oh. That's my quote for the year. There it is. That was a good one. Right? <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining me. Now we're going to go ahead and we will be right back.